Ningxia, located in the geometric center of the mainland of China, is one of the birthplaces of the Chinese civilization, an important link on the ancient Silk Road and a treasure land in the western part of the motherland. True to her gorgeous name, the Oasis in the Hinterland, it enjoys diverse and rich topography and physiognomy, which helped her to gain the reputation of the miniature garden of Chinese tourism. Echoing the admiration engraved in those great ancient poetic lines, like the orchards under the Halan Mountains, are so famously inviting that the people who lived and are living here share the same joy. The smoke above the chimneys goes straight up against a solitary desert, the setting sun looms larger and rosier. Or the heroic revolutionary spirit, one who fails to reach the Great Wall is not a hero, is a land of fish and rice. The majestic Halan Mountain is like a natural barrier, bringing peace and wealth to the land. The scenery at the foot of the mountain is boundless, rimmed by the oasis stretching out thousands of miles away. The rock paintings, carved on both sides of the cliff, can be dating back to thousands of years ago, and not far away from that looms in front of us the marks of those safari scenes of the nomadic tribes who once reigned the north. The Imperial Mausoleum of Western Chia serves as a living memory of the history. The Gen Beipu Western Film Studio when resurrecting those memories of the past, enjoys the reputation of being the cradle of Chinese movies. One place that can never be forgotten is the Sand Lake scenic spot, which is Xiaohu Lake, which with its vast waters, its picturesque sands, its graceful reeds, and numerous migratory birds deserves attention of every poet. For thousands of years, the flowing Yellow River has never ceased to nurture and care for the Ningxia Plain like a mother. Hence the name, Oasis in the Hinterland. As early as the Qin Dynasty, the ancestors of the Chinese people built canals on both sides of the Yellow River to divert water for irrigation. To divert water for irrigation, hence the famous Ningxia, ancient Yellow River irrigation system and a long believed saying, the Yellow River favors Ningxia most. The Yellow River Tower, the Yellow River Altar, and the Yellow River Military Culture Expo Park are like pearls inlaid in both sides of the Yellow River. While dotting along the banks of the river, the Huangsha, ancient ferry scenic spot, the Yellow River Grand Canyon, and the Mingshui Lake National Wetland Park, no sands can be more spectacular than those you see in Chaputo Phoenix Spot, where the yellow water, the green islet, the mountains, and the desert are living in perfect harmony. Stroll through the sea of sands to appreciate the incredible charm of the desert, and when you look down, you will appreciate the unprecedented feat of human being with their desertification control. Ningxia is known as the Great Wall Museum of China, as right here, the Great Wall has witnessed the unrelenting and incessant efforts made just to keep it effective ever since the Warring States period, followed by Qin, Han, Song, and Ming, and other dynasties. The total length comes to be over 1,500 kilometers, of which 1,038 kilometers are visible. The ancient Great Wall with its undulating peaks and majestic twists and turns, is fraught with battle stories. Some 30,000 years ago, people already lived here, by water and around the mountains. Chuidongo Scenic Spot, the birthplace of prehistoric archaeology in China, is unfolding more and more pristine secrets. Ningxia is also a land with glorious revolutionary tradition. Above the Liopan Mountain, 
The sky is high and the clouds are light, all of which are uncanny and natural. This is the last great mountain that the Central Red Army climbed on at the Long March, and Chairman Mao wrote right on the spot the famous poem, Ching Ping Yu, Li Pan Mountain. Jiang Taipu is the very place where the Red Army successfully joined forces on the Long March. In July 2016, President Xi Jinping visited Ningxia and issued a great call here to cherish the memory of the martyrs and do not forget our initiative minds so that we can have success on the new Long March. His words still remain in our ears. When we look back at the revolutionary history and try to search for the footprints of the martyrs, this hot land, which has been illuminated by the red light, encourages us to forge ahead in unity on the new Long March for building a beautiful new Ningxia and realizing the great Chinese dream together. A flourishing life we enjoy today on the gorgeous oasis in the hinterland is the best thing we can contribute to history. Today in Ningxia, scenery, harmony, and humanity have been felt among all ethnic groups. On this land, we dream we cherish. Today's Ningxia, a unique region, enjoys abundant products and many national geographical indications. The Great Corridor at the eastern foot of Halan Mountain, located at 30 degrees Celsius north latitude, is recognized as one of the world's gold belts for wine grape cultivation. When merging into the locals, you will get to know the merits of Ningxia simply by the delicacies. Naturally pure and full of vitality, Ningxia, a place no longer remote to you. Once rated as one of the 46 places to go in the world by the New York Times, it is now the second provincial-level demonstration zone of all-for-one tourism in China and a place you should never miss. Welcome to stay in Ningxia. Escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. Come to see the real stars. To read the intangible cultural heritage. To listen. To touch. To feel. Your footprints will long live with the mountains and rivers here in Ningxia. With a fancy-free heart, we offer you a boundless fair land. Let us meet in Ningxia and Fancy.